Taurus, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with a tarot card message for you today. Let's get right into your message using the right away tarot. All right, make sure you come in, like, share, subscribing, adding value to the channel. And uh, hopefully, you're having yourself a good weekend. It's Friday. We know weekend starts when half the work day is over, happy hour, and all that type of stuff. Could be payday as well, Taurus, all about abundance and money and stability. All right, take what messages resonate. Uh, leave those that do not. Do not force the message. Enjoy it thoroughly, though. See what the rest of the collective is going through at this time if you're a cross-watcher, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes we're forced to watch things that we don't want to watch. Or sometimes people take us outside of our comfort zone. The last relationship that I had... I was kind of uh, enticed or coerced into watching that one that one Disney show, uh, Once, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, it's a pretty good show. I would think of myself as the Rumpelstiltskin character. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into your reading here, uh, Taurus. Yeah, that went somewhere. Abundance, spinning gold, Taurus wanting that, uh, that comfortable lifestyle, sharing the um, planet Venus uh, all about beauty with Libra but enough rambling let's get into your message today what's grounding earth sign Taurus's message today what are the spiritual messages for Taurus we got jumpers plus the tree is bearing fruit earth signs bearing fruit being abundant several channel messages here on, on this good Friday for you grounded message death some sort of a death and rebirthing period, ending a cycle here. This is a chance to re, uh, to okay, rebuild or pay attention to what's going on around you. Scorpion is about accurate assessment, investigation. Someone could be hiding something from you here. We have the higher front, Knight of Cups. The higher front is religious systems and values and anointings. A higher authority here like a judge or some sort of a notary or some sort of a political figure or again of course a religious figure some sort of a pastor or a preacher someone going on some sort of a religious journey here someone is actually offering their cup in marriage yep your higher font uh, marries people here you see the two people bowing down to his feet here here base he's basically consecrating this union and someone's coming towards you with an offer of love here or someone came towards you with an offer of love not sure time is fluid so take the message as you see the message this could have been a past situation this is probably a current situation or this is headed towards you hmm Ooh, could be the yeah could be the ending of a marriage we'll see we'll see what the message is for Taurus but you are coming up in your reading that is major arcana for Taurus so you're focused on either um, self-love or this could be love coming towards you here. Yeah, someone's coming towards you with a slow offer here. Very slow. They could be very uh, busy or they could be very tired. You do know that scorpions exhibit poison, the slow death. So this person could probably be um, Knight of Pentacles, maybe working a lot. Or Knight of Cups, maybe if you're a dude, maybe this is a woman that's on her moon cycle. She's waiting for her moon. Yeah, the Hierophant, the red, the blood. Hmm. Now there's something interesting to be said, getting a different perspective on a man that always has to work all of the time. Woman don't know what that feels like. Now get a load of this. What if you're a woman that works all of the time, like nonstop? Can you imagine a man trying to get your attention and telling you that you don't have enough time for me? So what are we doing at this point? Yeah. A knight of pentacles and a knight of cups. Someone that works a lot and someone that is in... Mm, what, are we, what is going on here with the knight of cups? An artist here. Okay. trying to come into some sort of a union or connection here not sure if that is possible at this time it's a tough cycle here yeah five of cups we're getting a lazy or a lackadaisical type of relationship here or this is how it's going to start off here because they haven't reached their king hoods yet or their queen hoods 
things slowly get better over time like a cup of wine rhyming right actually the five of cups uh, numerology the five for the hierophant so yeah emotions you're gonna have to pay very close attention to your emotions and have some discipline and not get emotionally insecure there's attraction here there's even abundance here finances here Knight of Wands, all the knights are coming out. So there's romantic sexual attraction as well. So we have Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Earth signs, Can um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then we have Aries, Leo, Sag coming in here. Very passionate. So this relationship, mm, I'm not sure if, it, again, I'm, it's going to start off slow and it's going to heat up, basically. I'm just going to say it like that. Yeah. There's just some sort of emotional confusion at this time. Or some sort of a discipline or work or some something's in a way at this time. Maybe uh, like a parent is in a way trying to turn this person off. Five of Swords, yeah, turn off. Having a discussion about uh, value systems, perception. Mm -hmm. Some sort of an argument or debate. This is like West Side Story here or uh, that, that uh, scene in uh, Scarface when Tony Montana, well, we actually got to see his family, right? His mother and his sister. And, um, you know, he wasn't dating his sister, basically. Although we did have weird scenes, right, in that movie. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he uh, came back to see his family, um, you know. And his mother was like, I don't want you here because you, um, the only reason you have success is because of drug money. And his little sister was like, you know, uh, regardless, he's still our family. We still love him, so... You know, why are you acting like that? Three of Swords. Mm. It's almost like um, holding someone hostage as well. It's like uh, not allowing someone to get out and go uh, pursue the world or take part in the abundance of the world or whatever, they, whatever they're uh, attracted to or whatever their attention is on right now, whether it's love, money, uh, fo focusing on self-development possibly. Someone is uh, vexing someone here. Four of Wands. Yeah, there's a romantic attraction here. I would say third party, but I don't even think. Again, this is a slow-moving relationship. I don't even think that. <laughs> mm. this, this, this connection is very off-putting here. It's very disturbing. Getting that, um, that movie in the 90s disturbing behavior. about the heist was it uh was it yeah it was disturbing behavior right yeah it was because there was there was uh it was a lot of sex in that movie or the way that they transmitted the alien was through sex i can't even remember if it was an alien i don't it's been about 15 years 20 years since i saw that movie uh let's close out your messages taurus the sun card so we have celebration we have creation we have love and abundance here we have excitement mm, but what flew off the top of the deck Someone's trying to overshadow someone's emotions with BS here. They're trying to turn them off from a situation here. Again, this is like a parent or a, or like a homeboy trying to, yo, she's not even that attractive. Why you're like I've had women do this to me while I was dating women. They would literally come to me and uh, try to entice me. Why are you with her? She ain't got an ass like this. She ain't got lips like this. She ain't got a body like this. Again, all physical, right? So this is like, again, a brother trying to convince his sister not to date someone or, or a parent trying to convince. And it's funny, right? <laughs> it's usually like, oh, what a, um, if uh, someone, um, if you introduce someone into your parents and their parents like you, all of a sudden you don't like them anymore or whatever this is. This is something like that. Someone is holding someone back from a situation. Again, this is why you watch. You have to watch the people that you are around. They try to uh, sabotage you, or they misery loves company. Single woman, women want you to stay single. You know, dudes want you to stay um, crabs in a barrel, and if they see you getting anywhere, they will shoot you dead. That's why we have death grounding the reading. But that's what I have for you here today. We have the Sun card, Major Arcana, and the Hierophant. So this could be some sort of a oops. This could be some sort of a marriage coming up with a pregnancy as well. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of great discernment uh, and a lot of um, patience is what I'm getting here. 
Originally, we had the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Now, we do have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups here. Fives are about difficulty and change with the Hierophant. So, uh, this is going to be some sort of a round table discussion that you're going to have to need to get to here. In order to get an understanding here, adults should be able to speak to each other. Especially when it's in regards to love and monies and that sort of thing. Holding church, huh? But yeah, three knights here. The only knight we're missing is the knight of swords. So the truth of the matter. Yeah, we can't. The two people that should actually be the most important in this situation can't get, it, can't get a chance to speak with each other. And that's the issue that we're having here. Someone could be practicing occultism or some sort of a, a blocking spell or return to sender spell. But like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel, Taurus. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.